Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, in the documentary, What the Hell, there's many health claims made which the mainstream media has taken issue with, trying to debunk, trying to just discredit the entire movie as pseudoscience or no science and just a piece of vegan propaganda. Well, amongst these health claims made in the movie, one seems to stand out. One that's cited by pretty much every debunking article and video, and it's the claim that eating just one egg a day is as bad for you as smoking five cigarettes a day. What's truly sad and disingenuous is that these what the health debunkers pretty much always are forced to lie or just spread misinformation in general to perpetuate their own personal agendas, which are against what the health claims. For instance, this uh, News Hub article talks to paleo health expert Rob Wolf, and he comes out and just flat out lies there. He says there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever to support the claim that eating one egg a day is the equivalent, as far as longevity goes, is compared to smoking five cigarettes a day. Well, over on Rob Wolf's paleo blog, he wrote his own debunking of what the health, again, full of misinformation, just as he's doing right here. He's just full of it. He said he couldn't find one single citation to back up this claim about eating eggs being equally as dangerous for you as smoking five cigarettes a day. He even linked to the What The Health facts page saying he couldn't find one single citation. I really can't say for sure what Rob's doing wrong when he looks on the facts page, but when I go over to the What The Health facts page, here it is. Three citations supporting the claim that eating one egg a day is as bad for you as smoking five cigarettes daily for life expectancy. And included in those three citations is the seminal study published by David Spence in the Journal of Atherosclerosis in 2012. And here's what they found. Found that just three eggs or more a week was associated with a significant increase in artery clogging plaque buildup in the in people's carotid arteries going to their brain, a strong predictor of stroke, heart attack, and death. In fact, they found a similar exponential increase in arterial plaque buildup for smokers and egg eaters. So Rob Wolf and other deniers of this claim take note of that similar arterial plaque buildup for smokers and egg eaters. Those that ate the most eggs had as much as you know, two-thirds of the risk of those that smoked the most, the equivalent of a pack-a-day habit for 40 years or more. Since egg yolks are what contain cholesterol in eggs, Dr. Spence and team concluded that egg yolks should be avoided by people at risk of heart disease. Well, who's at risk of heart disease? Well, it is the number one killer of people. So Dr. Spence went on to add, He said egg yolks shouldn't be regarded as an item that's suitable for human diets, for anyone at risk of vascular disease, and you name me one person that isn't. And it's not like Dr. Spence's 2012 research is the only study to find this connection, this parallel in life expectancy between eating eggs and smoking cigarettes. His research backs up the findings from the older Harvard Nurses Health Study. Harvard Nurses Health Study, involving more than 100,000 women, was started in 1976, and so, as you can imagine, is now the most definitive long-term study ever on older women's health. 35 years later, they published the risk factors for mortality. And because it was a so-called competing risks analysis, it allows one to compare different risks to one another. And the two risk factors that we're most concerned with here are eating eggs and smoking cigarettes. The number one single cause of death? Heart disease. And so no surprise that dietary cholesterol consumption was a significant risk factor for death. I got to butt in here because it's been known for such a long time that dietary cholesterol is a significant risk factor for death. I don't know how much more clear this can be. However, you still have bozo doctors going off saying crap like this. Dietary cholesterol is not associated with coronary artery disease, period. Period. Like somehow that makes the nonsense you're saying true. The researchers in this study found a positive association between dietary cholesterol and the number one cause of death, bro. The second leading cause of death was smoking related cancer deaths. Comparing the two, consuming the amount of cholesterol found in just a single egg a day 
appears to cut a woman's life short as much as smoking five cigarettes a day for 15 years. So there you go, at least two studies supporting this crazy wild claim from What the Health, but there's still more we can learn from this Harvard Nurses Health study. Worth noting that the intake of cholesterol, only found in animal foods, was associated with living a shorter life, and the intake of fiber, only found in plant foods, was associated with living a longer life. So why do so many people have so much trouble believing this claim from What the Health about eating eggs being as equivalently bad for you as smoking cigarettes? They say, well, isn't like bacon and meat and stuff like that full of cholesterol too? What is so bad about eggs? Do eggs have a crazy amount of cholesterol? A single egg yolk contains approximately 215 milligrams to 275 milligrams of cholesterol, depending on the size. The yolk of a large egg provides more than the 210 mg of cholesterol in a Hardee's Monster Thick Burger, which contains two-thirds of a pound of beef, three slices of cheese, and four strips of bacon. So as you see, clearly there's science to support this bold claim from What the Health, and they're not making it up. They got this claim about eating one egg a day as being bad for your life expectancy as smoking cigarettes. They got this exactly verbatim from the scientific literature. Yes, at least two peer-reviewed, well-respected journals published research coming to this conclusion. So people like Rob Wolf and Z Dog just knock off with your lies and misinformation because you could be killing people, telling people there's no connection between dietary cholesterol and heart disease. You could kill someone. Just think about that for a second. You're either lying, which I hope you're not, I just hope you're just misinformed. You're not familiar with the research in this area. So I, I invite you guys to take a look at it and understand it before you kill your followers. So anyway, post your questions and comments down below, guys. Did you see Rob Wolf's blog post? I didn't get around to it because there's been so many other people to debunk, so I'm including them here in this one. And let me know if you saw other articles saying this claim between smoking cigarettes and eating eggs is unsupported and crazy woo-woo science. Well, as I showed, it's clear non-woo-woo science. So post down below and let me know if you'd like to see more of these what the health type related stories, because like I said, I really enjoy doing these. So anyway, that's it for now. So Rob Wolf and all the other low carb debunkers of what the health, keep it carved, baby, keep it carved. Yeah.